I'm Robin Vinson with the Jackson Hole Voice, and this is Nona Yehia, who is the architect for Vertical Harvest, and Penny McBride, who is the project coordinator. We are standing on top of the parking structure. Why are we standing on top of the parking structure? Because <laughs> we're having a party up here. <laughs> and the party is for a Vertical Harvest. Vertical Harvest is a project to build a three-story greenhouse um, right on the plot of land that is south of the parking structure. So uh, there's an empty plot of land that is about 30 feet by 150 feet, and there's been a lot of kind of commotion about what to do with this empty pot, plot of land. It is owned by town. And we were awarded um, the RFP to see if, which is a request for proposal from the town, so to see if we can uh, make a vertical greenhouse work on that plot of land. So the greenhouse is really unique. First of all, um, you know, vertical farming has just become pretty popular in the, as an idea in the past year or so. Uh, but this would be the first of its kind. So that's one of the cooler portions of the project. But when we started really kind of understanding what a vertical greenhouse could be, we realized that there are many other potentials for our community. Um, not only can we produce uh, fruits and vegetables year round, which as we all know, our growing season is about four months long. Um, so that's a huge thing for Jackson, where we can reduce shipping in our produce um, and, and just become more self-reliant, have a food source within our community. As our employment model, our workforce will be our citizens with disabilities. Um, and I, we just learned this fact yesterday, in Wyoming, 78% of uh, people with disabilities are unemployed. Wow. And so that's a pretty huge number. Uh, nationally, it's 72%. So it's kind of incredible. And this will provide a huge resource for um, children and adults with disabilities. Thirdly, we'll, it'll be kind of a demonstration project about what, how a sustainable greenhouse can work. Um, we're going to be using hydroponics to grow, uh, which is a soilless medium. So basically you uh, give the nutrients to the plants through water um, that's injected with some nutrients for the plants. And also aeroponics, which is the same kind of system but using misting instead of water. So it's really kind of agriculturally advanced. I think a lot of us probably notice when you go to the grocery store and your apple traveled from New Zealand. Exactly. To get here, I mean. Yeah, and that's the one of the cooler things about this is that, you know, the tomato that we grow will be picked uh, one day and then the next day um, be able to be sold to you. And, and I don't think a lot of us realize how much actually vitamin and mineral, mineral degradation happens mm -hmm. when it's sitting on the shipping truck and sitting in the grocery store stock room. So there's this real, you know, uh, immediacy to that that's pretty cool. Yeah. Penny, tell us a little bit about the party on the roof. It's going to be a great party on the roof. It's open to the public. We're going to have seven local chefs that have taken, we'll be using ingredients from local growers, growers and producers to create special dishes um, and they'll be serving food starting right at six o'clock. Um, the party goes from six o'clock until 10.30. Rocky will be playing some music for us and we'll have a great silent auction. We have some amazing packages that um, range from uh, hotel stays with massages and food to private dinners. A luxury cruise. There's a luxury cruise. <laughs> a private cruise on a sailboat. Ooh. That includes a private chef. Yeah. And then we'll also have a wine from Niner Winery and beer from Jaime. Yeah. No, it's on the rooftop of the parking garage. There's never been a party here. Yeah. And what a great space <laughs> for a party, right? You can see town and you'll be able to appreciate the space where uh, the greenhouse will live. Right, that's so appropriate that the party is going to be in a place where we can actually see where the greenhouse is going to be erected. How did you guys make this happen though? A party on the rooftop? I mean, <laughs> this doesn't happen in Jackson. <laughs> we have really good people working with us. We do. <laughs> Who are very persuasive. No, I think that town has been very supportive of this project. 
one of the other kind of goals of the party is to really uh, let people know where we are in the project. We've come a long way. Uh, we've fundraised uh, $60,000 so far, which has made us able to put together a whole package to really show what the vision of the greenhouse will be. And um, this, this fundraiser is to really get us to the next step where we can be ready to go, ready to construct the greenhouse. And I think that town is really excited to see where we are and um, they're supportive of us celebrating how far we've come. Mm -hmm. um, and so that we're really grateful to them for allowing this to happen. I can't say that it's not without hesitation. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what is the timeline? When are we going to, to start seeing some construction? <laughs> <laughs> That's always a tricky question. <laughs> um, but I, we're hoping that we'll be done sometime in 2013, that the greenhouse will be there. But a lot of things have to happen in order for that to go. So but that's the kind of the loose framework right now. That's the idealistic goal.